I'm Arthur, uh, I'm 18 years old, I'm a parkour athlete from London. I chose parkour because I used to do gymnastics as a kid um, and I didn't really like it that much because there was too many rules and limitations, like too many high expectations of all these like little kids. I didn't really enjoy the kind of vibe around the sport. When I was a little bit older, I found parkour through like a YouTube video. I went to a few classes and then like at these classes I met a bunch of people, a bunch of coaches that kind of just helped me better myself as an athlete. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yes. Parkour to me is, well it's a sport um, of course, it's something to keep yourself in shape, keep yourself fit, it's a bit of fun but also it's kind of, it's really good just for everything, patience kind of calmness. It's, it's really good for your mental health. Well done, Arthur. I'm very, very proud of you. There are some people who are pretty against parkour, but it's mainly um, a lot of like media outlets and big newspapers and stuff. I think parkour is seen by the media as a reckless thing because um, they kind of, have this idea of parkour, thinking it's some high risk daredevil kind of phenomenon that you can you you only do if you're reckless. It's one of the most natural sports you can do because you do it as a kid in playgrounds and stuff. So I guess people that are closer to my age can kind of relate to it more and kind of see the good side of it. The community around parkour is the best community I've ever experienced. People are always trying to push each other, um, trying to make everyone as, as good as they can be. How are you going? Everyone just wants to train with each other. The spot we're at now is like the most iconic parkour spot in the world. If you come here on like on a nice sunny Saturday, you're gonna see people here. And that's just that's just how I met most of my friends, like just through just through coming here and just meeting up with people. Now, take a look at this, because this is parkour. It's also known as uh, free running, and in recent years, it's become increasingly popular. So popular, in fact, that it was featured at the opening ceremony of the Rio Olympics. It's been described as a sport, but in the west side of the town of Horsham, it's been banned in the town centre, and anyone found free running could face a fine. Well, yeah, it was banned in Horsham about two years ago, I think, because of um, a parkour group called Stora who are now like really famous and in films and stuff and making YouTube videos. But they kind of put Horsham on the map in terms of like, um, like people wanting to train there and stuff. They kind of made it a really popular place to go. And all of a sudden, That's kind of like the first time I've seen someone try and like crack down on parkour like that and not really want to let people train in an area. Like it's a bit weird, yeah. I was, I was pretty annoyed about it because it, they were just, Painting parkour is this thing that, that it just isn't. <laughs> they were saying it was vandalism. They were saying it was um, like antisocial. They were saying it attracts like just all these nasty things that yeah, it has nothing to do with. Um, so I'm guessing a lot of people kind of had a pretty bad image in their head of what parkour was around that time. I think it was almost a year ago now when Stora got demonetized along with a lot of other channels, um, purely just because of the, um, the activities that they inspire or influence. But basically, yeah, we're still demonetized. Sometime in January, it got demonetized. 22 of my videos um, demonetized. It's annoying because, as they said, there's so many other sports that, are, that, are, that have been untouched by YouTube um, because they're more commercial and more sellable. Um, Whereas parkour isn't, it's more niche, so people kind of see it and they're like, um, the f what the fuck is that like? <laughs> it's just people jumping on walls. Some random girl stopped me and said, hey, 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 do you want to take a picture? I was like, for what? <laughs> oh, for a uni? I was like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> Thank you.
there's like a gap in the wall and usually with like jump upwards jumps like this you you're you can usually like land on the side of the wall but here there's just like a gap in the wall so if you if you want to do that you're like going to destroy your knees or your shins or something so this one you just have to go for it like straight to the top If you think parkour is reckless and dangerous, it's not. <laughs> 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 <laughs>